everybody. Um, cycle day 22. I just got off the phone with, um, I just got off the phone with my OB's nurse, um, who had my progesterone levels. Um, needless to say, they came back really bad. <laughs> I only, my progesterone was only at a 2, and for Clomid it should be above 15. I was hoping for at least a 10. Um, so, I didn't ovulate this month, and we move on to the next month, I guess. Um, I'm waiting on a call back for when to start Provera. And I'll take Provera, and then we are doubling the Clomid from 50 to 100 milligrams. Um, and instead of taking it on cycle days 5 through 9, like I did last cycle, we'll be taking it 3 through 7. Um, and then I will have my blood drawn again probably around cycle day 20 I'm guessing they haven't told me but yeah <laughs> I'm having a really hard time I'm just um really upset that it's another month that I'm not going to be pregnant so we are moving on to our 11th month of TTC and I really just don't want to do this month um, before, um, sorry I'm still crying, I'm just so emotional today. Before I started the COVID, a couple months ago, um, about four months ago, I went to my OB and I told him, we're not getting pregnant. We've been trying and trying and we're not getting pregnant. And I've been having really long cycles. I want to start Clomid. And he told me no. That it doesn't work like that. Um, he made me stop breastfeeding and told me to come back in three months. And so that the three months waiting was torture. I actually went a couple weeks earlier than he wanted because I couldn't wait to start Clomid. I was so excited for Clomid and then um, as soon as I got into it and the side effects were just I was miserable for nearly two weeks. Um, I was really crampy, I was really moody, I was so nauseous I didn't eat for like a week straight and it was just, it was terrible, and I hated it, and now we're doubling the Clomid, and I'm so scared on how much worse this cycle's going to be. So, hopefully this is the last time that I have to endure it, <laughs> and hopefully we'll get pregnant. Um... And I will, it will be, if I get pregnant this next cycle, it will be July, maybe. And Jackson is, my son is an August baby, so we're getting close to that. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's it. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll probably do my next video on cycle day one. So, um, if you guys have any Clomid experiences that you want to share with me, then that'd be great. Give me some hope because <laughs> I have a feeling that if my progesterone was a 2 at 50, that it's going to be like a 4 at 100. So, I have a feeling that we still have a long road ahead of us. Um, I just want to ovulate and be normal. So, anyways, leave comments down there if you have any Clomid 
experiences or stories. Have a good day, ladies.